Welcome back everyone. Uh, today we're going to look at um, the changes Cisco has announced in CCNA in particular. Uh, we're just going to briefly touch uh, the changes that have been announced by Cisco across the board. But our main focus is going to be on CCNA in this uh, video um, to see what the changes have been announced and how they're going to affect the student taking exam in next few weeks and, and months. So basically, as we all know that last year Cisco announced major changes in the in the certifications where um, the the nine CCNA tracks uh, are going to retire and we they're going to be replaced with a single CCNA uh, from 24th of this month. So there's one of the major changes that we're not going to have prerequisites like in we used to have before a CCNA requirement for CCNP and, and etc. And there's going to be a new uh, DevNet track that uh, certification is going to focus on um, uh, the uh, network professionals who are also software developers. So basically Cisco will retire all nine associate exams um, by the um, 23rd of this month and they'll be replaced by a single CCNA exam that we're going to cover the detail later. Um, the other change is that uh, specializing is not required at the CCNA level anymore. So basically where we had a uh, sort of CCNA data center and uh, security and etc. from start, now we're going to specialize at CCNP level. Uh, CCNA is going to be just the entry requirement only. Let's uh, understand the requirements um, in terms of uh, what's required in the CCNA from us. Um, see th these are the main topics uh, Cisco has uh, listed on the website uh, to cover. So basically, as, as always, um, we look at the previous uh, CCNA, uh, the understanding of uh, VLANs, uh, inter-VLAN, understanding of r routing protocols, uh, especially OSPF, spanning tree, and, and that including rapid spanning tree. Uh, then moving on to ether channels, uh, understanding of ether channels has always been the part of CCNA before. Uh, layer 3 redundancy protocols, um, that uh, again remains from the previous uh, blueprint. Um, understanding of WAN and VPN has been there, basics of ACLs. Um, as all students understand, that's uh, always been a major part of Cisco CCNA. Um, DHCP and NAT is there. The basics of uh, QoS was uh, included in the previous version, so that remains there. Um, so we're not going to go into details of uh, QoS. Um, wireless networks uh, is been included in, in this version and especially focus on WLC, which is the Cisco proprietary uh, implementation of wireless. Uh, let's uh, continue and take a look what else is uh, required. So well, basically, uh, as, as we understand some of the basics of uh, virtual infrastructure has been required. Um, then uh, as we know that uh, SDN and, and, and software uh, side of the networking and, and Cisco's DNA center, which is been included, uh, SD access and SD1. Basics of uh, iOS system tools, um, which is monitoring. Management of Cisco devices has been there before from the previous CCNA and uh, as the now we more focus on um, security threats across um, across the base. So there's a uh, lot of focus on the security uh, of hardening the devices and, and and ETC, so that, that's been included in the new. In terms of uh, passing the CCNA certifications, uh, students will have to uh, sit exam CCNA 200-301, and that will achieve the CCNA certification. There's no prerequisites, and the exam is gonna be similar format uh, as previous uh, exams, and it's gonna be 125 minutes.